Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah, not really that cool. I'm sitting inside my home right now. But on Monday, April 8th, 2024, a total solar eclipse will cross North America. And I can't think of a better way to experience the odd feeling of the moon covering the sun for a few moments than on your bike. So in this video, I'm gonna share where you can see the eclipse and provide a list of bike packing routes that will be in the path of totality. Let's do it. All right, so before we dive into it, I just wanna take a quick moment to let everybody know that this video is partially supported by Tailfin. Tailfin designs and engineers technical bike packing equipment for almost any kind of adventure. Innovation and quality are at the heart of what makes them tick. They push the boundaries so that you can push your own. They offer a range of options from hauling your gear, whether you're tackling the Tour Divide or just escaping for an overnighter. So for more on Tailfin, be sure to click on this card in the top right corner or also follow the link in the description below. All right, so in 2017, we were treated to an incredible solar eclipse that swept across North America on August 21st. It was an unforgettable moment known as the Great American Eclipse. Maybe a little cheesy, but folks from Oregon to South Carolina were able to view this natural wonder. We are lucky enough in the United States to have another total solar eclipse in a few weeks, and it's expected to be even more spectacular. Uh, astronomers say that it will last longer than the 2017 event, as the moon will actually be closer to Earth, giving us more time to soak in the magic of totality. So in 2017, the width of the eclipse ranged from 62 to 71 miles, or 100 to 114 kilometers. This year, it will range from 108 to 122 miles, or 107 74 to 196 kilometers wide. Even more interesting here is that this will be the last total solar eclipse in the contiguous United States until 2044. However, over the next 20 years, there will be 13 total solar eclipses worldwide, with Southern Europe and Northern Africa being in the path of the 2026 and 2027 eclipses, while Australia and New Zealand get in on the action in 2028, 2037, and 2038. But for now, let's explore where and when this year's eclipse will be viewable and some corresponding bikepacking routes where you can enjoy it. The eclipse will hit south of Mazatlan, Mexico around 11.07 a.m. Mountain Time and exit into the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Newfoundland at around 5.16 p.m. Newfoundland Time. Cloud cover and overall weather will be a factor obviously here, but we will not know the effects of that until a few days leading up to it. Still, the NASA webpage and the map that you will see uh, throughout this video is a great resource showcasing exact times, and that is linked below. All right, so starting in Mexico, the eclipse will cross right over the Trans-Mexico Route Norte from Mazatlan to Durango, starting at roughly 11.10 local time. The eclipse covers roughly a few hundred miles of that particular route. It will then be visible in Texas and cross over the Texas Hill uh, Country Overnighter and the Texas Barbecue Tour Overnighter, roughly around 1.30 Central Time. All right, so moving northeast up to Arkansas, the Washita Triple Crown Route might be one of the most enjoyable routes to view the eclipse as spring is a great time to tackle the 161 mile route. The whole route looks to have a four minute eclipse starting roughly around 1.50 local time. It's heading up to Southern Illinois, the Little Egypt River to River route from the Ohio River to the Mississippi is also a great spot to view a rather long three or four minute total eclipse starting at 2 p.m. Central time. Continuing its journey in the Midwest, those from Bloomington or attending uh, Indiana University will also have an excellent opportunity to view the eclipse along the 74 mile or 119 kilometer Brown County Delight at 307 local time before its path heads up to Ohio when it crosses paths with much of the Buckeye Trail bicycle route at 315 Eastern time. After Ohio, it crosses Lake Erie and eventually over Buffalo and Niagara Falls. The next route it will cross paths with 
is in upstate New York with the 62 mile or 100 kilometer Fingers Lake Overnighter in the northern part of segment four of the Eastern Divide Trail at roughly 3.20 local time. The eclipse then travels through Ontario at the northern third of Vermont and New Hampshire, crossing paths with a variety of different routes up there, including the Hereford Express Overnighter, Ridge Rails and Rivers Overnighter, the Green Mountain Gravel Growler, VTXL, and the Northern White Mountains Overnighter around 3.30ish local time. However, looking at the webcams from a variety of areas up there, it seems like winter is still in full effect as I record this, but things could clearly change over the next 20-ish days. Finally, the eclipse does cross most of the northern stretch of the Eastern Divide route, and while likely too far north for enjoyable bikepacking at this time of year, maybe this just serves as a reminder that the entire route exists. The Eastern Divide is a 6,000 mile route from Cape Spear, Newfoundland, which is the easternmost part of North America to Key West, Florida, and I will link that in the description description below. So that about does it. If you are close to these locations, you can see the eclipse. So make sure to get your uh, solar viewing glasses ready. And if you plan on bikepacking on the 8th, let us know where in the comments below. If you have an overnight bikepacking route that is in the path and you'd like to publish it on our local overnight project map, please get in touch. We are always looking for great overnighters developed by locals to help get more people out bikepacking. There's a link below if you're interested in doing that. As always, thank you all so much for watching. And if you like what you saw in this video and want to see more like it, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And if you want to help support bikepacking.com as a whole, you can do so by signing up for the Bikepacking Collective. The Bikepacking Collective offers a lot of perks, including industry discounts, monthly giveaways, and the twice yearly bikepacking journal. So to learn a little bit more about the Bikepacking Collective, you can click on the card in the top right corner or also follow the link in the description below. As always, thank you all so much for watching and until next time, pedal further.